Welcome everybody to another episode of Everett's Extreme Makeover. Today is Christmas because we got a box from the UPS guy today. So come on here and check out what it is. And it came from uh, a guy named Everide. This is a very bright, flaming, fetching yellow IMS four gallon tank. And this thing is huge. Huh? Want to look at the rear end? Let's see. I'm just going to check out what it looks like on the bike real quick. We'll get on this side so you can see. But, uh, huh? What are you thinking of that? Say goodbye to the small. Check over here real quick. We got the small. A little comparison real quick. This is a stock tank. I don't know how big it is. Two something, I'm guessing. But uh, very obvious size difference. Insert dirty joke right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, how awesome is this? Looks great, right? Big, huge tank. Four gallons, the 400 size engine, that can get you pretty far, right? Almost Utah BDR approved. So, we thought we'd show you guys the tank real quick, but bad news is... It sucks! It sucks, and we're not keeping it. So, thank you Everide for sending us this tank that we're not going to use on your bike. We're going to send it back to Motorcycle Superstore because... Mr. Duff Factor and I have got better plans, better ideas than this here four gallon IMS tank. So we're going to put it back in the box right now, today, and we've already gone through the process of printing out the form to send it right back to Kentucky where it came from. So, say goodbye to the four gallon tank, folks. <laughs> so now I'm going to show you this because this is the front fender. That, as you can see, goes right where the front fender goes. But can you see what's wrong with this picture? These are black, these are yellow, that's black. Black is badass. We got a problem here. So here's all of Everides. Check all this junk out. This is all going in the junk. It's all going bye bye. So what Mr. Duff Factor and I did is we have bought a black kit, black plastic kit for Everide. Woohoo, uh, baby! So we've got uh, the front fender, which we pulled out already because we're going to install it right now. We've got rear fender in black. We've got these side panels in black. And last but not least, whatever these are called. Radiator guards. Radiator guards in glossy, shiny, redneck approved black. None of this ugly, disgusting, vomit colored, rotten. This color. Rotten. Urine color, clown color. I pissed my bed yellow color. Yes. <laughs> Disgusting, hideous, ridiculous, ugly, nasty, non-redneck approved yellow. We are now switching to black. Surprise, Everide. Welcome to the Black Club. <laughs> so we're going to put on the front fender. Uh, we've got to wait because we've got to finish the carb up and go from there before we start putting everything else on. But uh, She's going to be a nasty black widow bitch now. Yeah. That's right. So stay tuned because there's going to be more black surprises in the near future. So Hope you guys like it. Too bad if you don't. Yeah. Sorry, homie. Yeah. We don't care if you do. We don't care if you don't. That's how <laughs> it's going to be. We're in charge. <laughs> Rojo Neck Duff Factor out! Yeah! Woo! 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 Okay, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the next episode. Or is this another episode? What is it? I don't know. We're so welcome back. Many episodes. <laughs> so today, 
working back on Everett's bike. We got a back, uh, a box, a box uh, something that we've ordered. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some of the other things we've got for Tyler's bike, and uh, so we're going to kind of split it both ways. We we open this box first to show everyone what we got. Uh, we don't go both ways, by the way. We only go one way. <laughs> so this is what we got today in the mail. The UPS guy. This is a black uh, a Clark tank. It's a 3.6, 3.6, 3.8. I can't remember. 3.6 gallon. Whatever tank. it takes. <laughs> uh, nice, beautiful black tank. Uh, Tyler sent us that yellow four point tank, four point gallon, four point zero gallon tank, but that's going away. So, uh, radiator covers will go right into there. This will fit in nice with all the rest of the black stuff we've got, the service kit we've got. Um, there is a reason why we got, we sent the four gallon tank back and got this 3.6 gallon tank. So, this should. Looks somewhat like that, and uh, that is badass. That looks awesome. That's the first time we've even put that on. So, so you'd be able to use your stock radiator shrouds. So if you decide to change something someday, you can do that. Plus, the majority of the riding ever ride does is going to be you know around his home and stuff. And if he had 3.6 gallons when we went to the uh, Grand Canyon probably had enough just with one tank. And that was an all-day ride. But still, we've got something better, something way better. And uh, ever ride, you're gonna crack your pants again, dude. We've got Roto Packs. <laughs> so uh, that's why. We're like saying, we've got your fuel stuff covered, don't worry about it, we've got it covered. We've had this plan all along. We had this plan that we thought we could get a modest sized tank that you could use around your house. It wouldn't add a ton of bulk to the bike, it would still have good handling, still have enough fuel for the majority of what you're going to do. But when it comes to going on some long excursion like we hope you'll do with us someday, we had to have more. So. Yes, we are going to build you a custom set of racks for the DRZ400E. I don't believe that anyone has got what we're going to have on this bike for you when it's done. Oh yeah. We've got material already, three quarter inch steel tubing. We're going to build a, 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 as lightweight as we can, but at the same time a very, very strong rack system that will be able to support what we've got on here. Now we've got mounts and everything so that we can mount these roller packs tightly up against the back of this bike so it doesn't take up a lot of room. But that is a two gallon roller packs tank. So that's going to add two gallons to the already 3.6 or 8 that he has. That's KLR territory. But not only that, but we're going to also build mounts on the other side of the bike that you can add a second one if you want to. But we also have in the mail a two gallon water pack. That way you're not uh, dying for thirst on the Utah BDR. Now we don't want you to die of a ride, so we're going to have a water pack on one side, we're going to have a fuel pack on the other side, and oh. you know those runs where you have to go get a little Miralax in the middle of the night? Baby, this sucker's going right on top just like that. And it's black. And it's black. So if you don't think that's cool, you got it dead. Yeah. Or never mind, I'm not gonna say that. So the other thing too is these we only got the single mounts, right? We got the single mounts. So there are the double mounts. So if you wanted to be all super crazy and ridiculous like we like, you can mount you can mount two on each side. You can mount two on the top, two on the bottom, you can buy the locking mounts for it. You can do as much as you want, whatever color you want, you're good to go, homeboy. So that's why we've been so secretive about what we were doing to the suspension with the forks, with the shock. We've taken all this in consideration and the big tank that was probably the worst part was that it was yellow. <laughs> but not only that, but it was just going to add a lot of bulk. It was really wide. It was going to make it, you know, riding not, in my mind, quite as fun as having a small tank. I mean, that's why you like the DRZ, right? It's nimble, it's powerful, it's 
easy to get in and out places. So we're going to make you a nice tight set of racks. It's going to keep this really up snug, close to you, so that you can uh, get in those places you want to go and still have the suspension to handle it and make this thing last for a long time. So we are so freaking excited about this. I cannot tell you how excited we are. This was the first thing we said we had to get. We didn't talk about the anything else. The first thing we decided to get, we need roto packs, and that's the first thing we bought. So we're excited for these. Damon's got some for his KTM, and when I make some money, I'm gonna get me some for my KLR too. So yeah, rock on. And the other cool thing, so that's why we had to go all the way into the suspension. That's why we had to make sure the carburetion was good, the head tube, the head bearings were good, because we knew we were going to have some weight on this thing, and we knew that it was going to uh, need to handle it. So that's why we dug all the way down to that, just for these babies, for you. Surprise! <laughs> but you're going to have to stay tuned to actually see them on the bike, because we've got a whole rack system to build for this thing. Yes, the dirty work begins.